Today I'm going to do a brief overview of the digital menu system of LTA amplifiers and how you change settings and what those settings do. One thing to note is that the menu options and settings will vary depending on the type of unit that you have and its state of production. So as I'm going through this, if you see a particular menu option that you don't see on your unit, or if you have a menu option or a setting on your unit that is not you know, in, in, on this unit, that's why. Okay, let's dive into this digital menu system and see how it works. So the first thing to know is you can control the menu system two ways. One, with the remote control. Two, with the buttons on the front panel. The first thing to do to get into the menu system is to press the menu button, either on the remote control or right here on the unit. And that gets you, that takes you out of the volume that you were in before, you know, by default, you know, this is the, the volume level that's, that's shown on the digital display. And so to get into the menu system, to change these settings, uh, press the menu button once. So I've done that. Once you're in there, you'll the first menu item is balance, and I'm just gonna scroll through all the other options really quickly. So you're gonna press up or down on the remote to scroll through all these options. You can also, likewise, as I said, use the front panel. There are up and down buttons there to change that. And you can also actually use the volume knob at this point to scroll very quickly through all these. That's maybe a little harder, but you know, use whatever you prefer. Okay, let's dive into each of the individual menu options and the settings uh, for each and what they do. So we'll press menu. The first one that comes up in, is balance. It's pretty self-explanatory. Let's you change the channel balance left to right press select and using the up and down buttons uh, you know on the on the front panel or of course on the there we go i think i'm too close uh, on the remote control allows you to alter the balance uh, based on your room your listening position the next menu option sorry i'm moving too fast for my own good is gain control or gain level. This lets you set or lower the gain on a per input basis. So on this particular unit, uh, we have uh, two settings. Uh, the default is of course zero dB, no gain uh, adjustment at all. But the two additional settings are 15 dB and 30 dB. You may have a unit that the, it only has uh, two settings, uh, 0 dB and negative 10 dB. On newer units, we've updated it and we have two more settings, 15 dB and 30 dB. The next menu option is the volume range setting. This is a relatively new setting that we have. Many of you watching will not have this on your unit depending on when you're watching. And uh, what this is, it, it, we have two different volume control mappings programmed in here, depending on how much control you want over, over the volume. So the default is, the, is our 100 step volume control, zero to 100. If you want super, super fine control, we have what we call, and you'll see it scroll there, the high res setting, which is 199 steps. And that just gives you really precise control over dialing in exactly the volume you want. From there, we'll continue on. Here we have the brightness setting. By default, your unit will come with its lowest brightness setting, which for some people is pretty bright still. That brightness setting is one, uh, but if you do want it brighter, you, know, you can dial it all the way up to 16. I typically leave it at one, but you can set it however you like. I press set and you can see one out of 16. So we go to our next menu option. This is the home theater input option. So what this does, is it allows you to set a particular input as your home theater input. And this is the input that you would have your home theater receiver connected into. 
and it locks the volume level to the level that you choose uh, to integrate best with the other channels in your system. Uh, there's th this is a, a bigger topic and it will depend on your, your home system on how to uh, set this up. Uh, check the manual also, there's more information there, but that's what this, uh, that menu option does. So going from there, we have a display timeout option. So if uh, going back to the brightness that we just talked about, if you don't want the, any of these uh, lights to be on, you want a completely dark room, you can set the LEDs on this front panel to go off and you have two options there. So let me just get back to this. Uh, the menu option does time out after a little while. So the, here's the display timeout and you have two options. So by default it's off, meaning everything stays on. And so the display timeout settings that you have are two others. You have volume and that turns the volume display off but keeps the input uh, display uh, or indicator on. And then you have all and that display timeout setting uh, means that all of the LEDs are a turn off after a few second delay. Um, so we're not gonna set those. That would not be a good thing for this tutorial. Okay, so let's go back into our menu system and where we're brightness, home, theater, display. Here we go. Left, right, remote control, remote arrows. So what this uh, section of the menu system does is it allows you to configure what the left and right buttons on the remote control do. So by default, these left and right buttons, when you're not in the menu system, they don't do anything at all. I'm pressing them, actually I press the menu center button by default, sorry about that, but they don't do anything at all. So what you can do with this menu system is alter what these left and right buttons do, which is kind of cool. So you can have it do two things. Uh, one, you can have it these left and right, you can configure these left and right buttons to control balance. And this would allow you to very easily uh, adjust balance on the fly from your listening position. So I typically suggest to people when they're setting up their system and they, they are you know, dialing in that balance, it's much easier to do that you know, with your eyes closed and you're listening. And if you, all you have to do is press left, right on the remote control to adjust that balance and find the setting that's, that's right for you. You can also, the other option for these left, right buttons is changing the input. Uh, normally, the way you change the input is you press the, the play pause button and you can see I'm changing the, the input there. And, but what that does is that cycles through one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And sometimes it's easier or you want to just be able to go back and forth. So two to three and three to two, or you know, one, you know, one to five and five to one even. Uh, this is especially helpful if you're a being uh, two things on two different units. And so that's what the, the menu system does. So let's get in there and actually show it to you. So here's the left, right, and you press select. The, by default, like I said, it's off, they, they do nothing. And then the one option is input, and it should scroll. And then uh, the other one is balance, and whichever one you choose, like we'll check, we'll check uh, balance here, and we'll press select. So now we've set the left, right buttons to control balance. And so just to show how that works, see now I'm us using the left, right buttons to adjust the balance on the fly. All right, next up, what do we have? We've gone through all these. Now this is the power on override. So if your unit has a capacitive power button, uh, that would be the Microsoft preamp and the Z10, uh, you can actually have it so the, this, when you turn on the, the switch on the back, it turns the unit on automatically without having to touch that button. Uh, some people prefer that. Next, we have, it's just a reset to defaults. Um, you know, so if you, if you don't know, you know what you've done here, you've been messing around like I have here, and you don't know what you've set up or something is just sort of acting a little wonky, you might want to 
you know, reset the menu, uh, everything to their defaults. So we'll just do that now. There we go. And all the defaults are listed in the manual as well, if you wanna know what you've set it to. But that's a, a simple way just to start from scratch. It's basically factory default reset. And then the last one, I believe, is just the about menu. And this tell, this is really for, for more for our purposes and, and troubleshooting. It tells you the version number of the software and then the revision number of that software. So if, if you're having an issue or you, know, you call us and you need some help, uh, we might ask you for this version and rev number just to help us know what version of the software we're dealing with. That's how you use the menu system in LTA AMPS with a digital control system. Check the manual if you need more information. And as always, if you like this video, press the like button. If you want to see more like it, subscribe. And if you have any questions, which I'm guessing might be likely on this one, leave them in the comments below. Thanks.